Moving on to our Scuba Steve team deep dive of the oh. week. Like Put I, on your scuba suits. Put the scuba suits on. We're not snorkeling. We're not snorkeling here. We, we are. We're going deep down under. You need some oxygen. You need some ox- oxygen for this one because there's a lot of stats. There's a lot of numbers. But like I already said, we talked about um, Baltimore last week. So if you want to, you want to listen about the Orioles. Go ahead and look at last week. But this week, Max, we're talking about the Arizona Diamondbacks. They are 32 and 23 with a 17 plus 17 run differential. That's both third in the National League. We already said they're a game and a half behind the Dodgers for the West. Looking at these batting stats, Max, they're top 10 in batting average, slugging percentage, OPS, run scored, hits, RBIs, total bases, strikeouts, and stolen bases. Damn. So they are top 10 in almost every category. I was not expecting the bats. Name a player, name, name a bat. And and Arizona that you're excited about. Name a bat. So so we got four bats here ranked in the top 200 in our Yahoo yeah. Fantasy categories head to head league, starting with Corbin Carroll, 37th. He's ranked 37th. He's ranked 37th. Ah. Better go look up some numbers. I will. And then also with him in the outfield is Lourdes Gurriel Jr. He's oh, now over there in Arizona. About Six, time. Six. This guy was supposed to be a huge prospect in Toronto, did nothing, did nothing in Toronto, but now he goes over to Arizona and Hey, sometimes a change of place is how you, you show your prospect, I guess. Yep. Check your prostate while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something was blocking you. Maybe something was blocking you up there. I'm Possibly. glad to hear that uh, Lord Esguerre is doing better. Cause I drafted him like two or three seasons in a row mm. to be very disappointed. But of course this is the year he goes off. Okay. Well, good for him. Good for him. Ranked 66th right now. Along with him, we got Cattell Marte at second base, 112th, and then Christian Walker at 122nd at first base. Nice. Those are your four batters ranked in the top 200 in our in our league. Maybe not the names that you would expect, but yeah. they're top 10 in almost every batting co- category here. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, let's go. I was not expecting Arizona to be up there. It, once again, for me, it was Dodgers and the Padres. That's it. That's all I was betting on. But these guys are showing up and showing everybody that they can play. And they got a good team. You're about to get, dive into some uh, some of their pitching. I got one guy pulled up already. That's on my fantasy team that I'm really excited about. But once you go ahead and – but you you already have another guy uh, in Zach Gallen who's just a tank. So we'll, let's, we'll, we'll start right there with Zach Gallen. He's ranked yeah. 20th. Yep. It, Merrill, Merrill Kelly, your guy is ranked 35th. Now hold on. Mm-hmm. Hold on with the stats here. Because we got three relievers ranked in the top 200. Miguel Castro, Andrew Chafin, and Scott Magoo. Magoo, Magoo, I don't know. Scott Magoo? (laughs) I'm going to go with Magoo. (laughs) Is it M-A-G-O-O? M-C-G-O-U-G-H. I'm going to go Magoo. (laughs) (laughs) So we got five. It's especially spelled like Van Gogh. You know, like, like, yeah, the guy that lost his ear. I'm going to fuck up his name and call him Magoo. All right. The Goo Man, the Goo Man. He's only ranked 174th, so we might not be talking about him again. <laughs> but they got two starters and three relievers ranked in the top 200. Max, give me give me what you got on your guy Merrill Kelly for it. Dude, I, I'll tell you some stats. Uh, Merrill Kelly has six wins already this season. Six, okay? 69, ooh, big number for me. I don't know why I'm always <laughs> around 69. I How many times have I said this, Cole Breezy? It, it, 69 uh, just hangs around with me. It sticks out to you. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I don't get it. It's a it's a very sexy position, you know. Lucky number. It, 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 it is my lucky number. I got I got to turn. I got to I got to be wearing a jersey number sixty nine now. All right. When I when I, yeah, I'll go out and get a Bears jersey number sixty nine falcon around the back. Okay, I'll get a lot of a lot of, a lot of hype yeah. on that. His his ERA is two point eight three. Okay, two point eight three. He has a WHIP of one point zero seven. Man, dude. Hold on, is he on a win streak? Yes, he's on a three-game winning streak. His last Eat game, up. he had his last game, he had ten strikeouts. Okay, this guy is on fire. I cannot believe I picked this guy off waivers last season. Okay, a lot of people weren't drafting him, by the way. So you Yahoo, you Yahoo, or just fantasy baseball fans that were sleeping on Merrill Kelly, you queefed. You got a big. <laughs> Queep in the nose and the yeah. eyes. Those eyes are watering. You got a little bit of pink eye there now. Oh. You got, yeah. You might want to go to the doctor and go check that out because Merrill Kelly 
is thrashing on the mound, man, thrashing. And he's a keeper until I until until I see otherwise. This guy's the man. Yeah, yeah another keeper uh, on the mound for the Diamondbacks is, like we said, Zach Gallon for me. Just to talk about his stats real quick, he's got seven Ws. He's pitched 72 innings and has 82 Ks in those 72 innings. He's got a 2.72 ERA and a 1.0, 1.03 whip. Nice. So those two guys are really leading the bullpen, and there's not much after them. Max, you're going to be shocked on these pitching stats. They are outside the top 15. Really? In ERA, quality starts, hits allowed, runs allowed, oh. homers given up, walks, strikeouts, on base percentage allowed and whip outside the top 15 in all of those. Wow. After hyping up that, I think that they have a better pitching staff than the Dodgers. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> so, they got okay. two guys. You got two guys. That's like two an automatic guys. win. You have, you have a guy that comes out there. It's basically an automatic win, whether they get the win or, or I'm at like the pitcher gets the win or the team just wins. Yeah. Okay. I guess the other three starters just aren't doing shit. Yeah. Um, and every, every time we finish up these scuba, Steve team deep dives, we always uh, make a prediction if they're going to make the playoffs or not. And their bats, their bats are hot. They're top 10 in most categories. Um, but we, we know, we know pitching really carries you down the stretch, but I still think these guys can make a wild card. Oh. I'm, 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 I'm right yeah. now as we sit here last day of May, I think the D backs can slip in a wild card. Okay. Uh, I like it. I, I like the pick. I'm going to go the other way. Okay. I, I'm going to say that they're not because Good. you know why? Because I think the Padres are going to heat up. The Padres, got, their team is, look at their, just look at the names. Look at the names of the of the Padres. We'll do a team deep dive eventually, probably on them. Even Maybe, maybe we'll see. But they have star all-star players on their team. Okay. They're going to heat up. But as of right now, I think they're in third. Padres are in fourth, eight games behind. We got the Giants five and a half games back. Oh, jeez, man, that's that's disappointing. If you're a Padres fan, that's that's very disappointing. Well, yeah, they uh, a couple of weeks ago they were one of six teams averaging less than four runs. I don't know if that's still the case, but with all those bats, better figure something out, Padres. Uh, eesh, eesh. 